one, two. Hey, Mr. Smiley Face, breezing in the town. Shiny, happy people seem to follow you around. Kiss a couple babies, slap a couple backs. Man, that ain't how it plays on this side of the tracks. Nobody gives a damn about your fancy clothes. It won't be very long till. We're on Wine Nation TV today with Dr. Warren Frankel from Sculptera Winery in beautiful Paso Robles, California. How are you doing today, doctor? Great. Nice to have you here. This is an unbelievable spot. Tell us a little bit about how it all started. Well, actually, this is probably 45 years in the making. When I was in uh, college, I went to Europe, and I was in Oslo, Norway, and I saw a uh, place called... Uh, Vigalon Park or Frogna Park in Oslo and they had sculptures outside and I thought it was just a wonderful thing that this sculptor which was who was really phenomenal uh, could make his sculptures and not have to worry about selling them and I thought someday that wouldn't that be nice to have that in the United States and when uh, my family moved here in 1980 we started planting grapes and sold most of our grapes uh, in uh, to Napa uh, as grape growers and then I knew we had highly high quality wonderful grapes and wanted to start our own winery so we started this winery with the idea that even though we're kind of a remote setting you see the beautiful hills here the oak studded hills uh, in a, and this valley that we have to bring people out here we were going to combine art with wine it's beautiful well, it was it was the idea of really, as I said, uh, was many many years ago when I when I thought that you know statues outside would just be magnificent in in beautiful landscape grounds and these are 20 foot high bronze and granite statues. They're really monumental, as you see, and you really even can't get the get the real view unless you're standing under them. Now, how did you determine the, who the sculptor would be? Well, actually, I was teaching a Bible study, and one of the people in my Bible study was a sculptor sculptor named John Jagger, and I saw some of his works. And he was an elderly man, and he had been traveling all around to sell his sculptures. And I said, how would you like to be commissioned to sell, to, to actually build these sculptures here in a much more grander scale? And we got the granite out of China, and he built the, the bronze statues. Actually, it's drip by drip with a wire technique that, very few, that he really started in this country. And they're magnificent, and people love it here. I mean, combining art with wine. Wine lovers like art, art lovers like wine. And that was the concept. Well, it's absolutely beautiful, and the sculptures are just uh, astonishing. Uh, attractive and really beautiful. Uh, tell us a little bit about the wines. Well, actually, the first year that we started making wines, we got 11 gold medals. The wines are absolutely spectacular, too. We knew that wines would be good because we have excellent grapes. I mean, wine is only as good as the quality of the grapes. Really, what a winemaker wants to do is not mess up the grapes. I mean, that's kind of the whole idea. How, how large is your vineyard? Uh, well, the land is 270 acres, but we have over 100 acres of grapes. What varieties do you specialize in? Well, Paso Robles is known mostly for red wines, and so we have uh, Cabernet is really the the the, uh, the start of everything here. At Cabernet, we have Merlot, we have Zinfandel, we have Primitivo, we even have uh, Pinot Noir, which was unusual in Paso Robles, and we just I think we're one of the only ones that grow it here on the east side, and it's come out spectacular. That's amazing. How would you describe? Is there a particular uh, winemaking style for Sculptura wines? Well, as I said, what we do is we try to bring out the best quality in the grapes. And actually, it's boutique wine. Uh, we don't pump over anything. We do push downs in the in in the uh, in in small lots. So it's all done in in, in hand handmade, handcrafted wines. And we really take a lot of care with the wines. And so that's really why they come out. We just bring out the flavors of the wines. Paso Robles has a very nice quality to their red wines. A little fruitier than Napa, and I think that's why. Napa likes to buy our wines to blend it with their wines. It's a different, it's a different wine, but I think it holds its own. Now, this is a beautiful uh, facility open to the public. Uh, what are the tasting room hours? Well, we're open to the public from Thursday to Sunday, but actually, people can come uh, anytime during the week. They can come seven days a week. Uh, uh, by by appointment, which really means just coming here and letting us know you're going to be here. So we're we'll be open seven days a week. And, and do you have a wine club? Yes, and we have a wine club, and we have various tiers of our wine club, and you can sign up for our wine club in various in various ways and and get different shipments of wine. 
Thank you very much. It's Sculptera Winery. It's worth a visit. You've got to come down to this beautiful winery in Paso Robles, California. Thank you so much, doctor. Mm -hmm.